Hey guys, in this video I want to quickly show you how you can go ahead and use your Nokia Lumia 800 phone as an external hard drive. So, if you have ever owned an iOS device, um, you do know that they have this thing that you can't use it as an external hard drive. You can't like go to your computer and uh, you know just move over files to it like apps and stuff like that. Uh, if you want to go ahead and do that, uh, you know, basically it's the same thing with Windows Phone 7. It is, you know, a little locked down. Uh, but if you want to go ahead and do this, you can do some registry, uh, you know, edit the registry a little bit. And that's what we're going to do in this video. Um, so, I'm going to go over everything. Uh, I found XDA developer thread about this, how you go ahead and do this. Um, so, as you do know, with uh, a Windows Phone 7 device, you use like Zoom that program um, to you know sync your stuff and like that uh, but if you want to use it as an external hard drive I'm gonna show you it pretty quick here so I've soon fired up here I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in my cable uh, to my phone over here so as you can see um, it starts to recognize that I have a phone connected that's kind of great uh, let's see here Okay, here you can see my Nokia Lumia 800 phone. So, what you want to go ahead and do, okay, here we go. Uh, you can see that I have an update that I could go ahead and install if I want to go ahead and do that. But I'm not going to do that, I'm going to update later. So, what you want to go ahead and do uh, is that, first of all, you just want to go down over here. And you want to just type in reg edit. So, I'm just going to do that right now. Reg edit. Dot exe. Uh, now, what you want to go ahead and do right here is okay. Let's just start off from the beginning. You want to do some registry uh, changes, of course, and uh, that's what we are going to go ahead and do right now. So, first of all, uh, let's go back to the top. So, first of all, on the top you have uh, your computer, uh, and then what you want to go ahead and go down to. Is 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 low H key a uh, local machine, uh, and then what you want to go ahead and go down to is basically let's see here, let's see let's see let's see let's see ah let's see let's see H key local machine. Then you want to go down to system, and then what you want to go down to is current control set. Uh, so you see, yeah, you know, system, current control set, and then you want to go down to enum, and then you want to go ahead and go down to USB, um, yeah, USB, and then what you want to go ahead and do right here is that you want to go down, uh, when you're on USB, con uh, click on your control F on your keyboard, and then you just want to type in Zune driver, okay, just like that. You will instantly, you know, before the over here uh, to your Zoom driver. Now you want to click on device parameters up here, and then what you want to go ahead and do here is you want to click on on the right one on the right side here. You want to go ahead and uh, click on show in shell. You want to change a data value from zero to one. Okay. Then what you want to go ahead and go to is a portable device name, space excludes from shell. You want to go ahead and change its data value from uh, from 1 to 0. And then there is one more. Let's see, let's see. Show in shell from 0 to 1. Uh, portable device name excludes from shell, 1 to 0. And then you want to go ahead and uh, change enable legacy support from 0 to 1. So let's go ahead and go to enable legacy support um, and change its data value from 0 to 1. Okay, there we go. We are basically finished. Now, you also, when you search, when you click on USB up here and click on Control F, uh, search for Zoom Driver, uh, you can click remove this uh, data thingy over here. Uh, it will you know, search faster if you do that. Also, if you can't uh, search, you just go down to USB and then like vid, uh, you know, underscore 045 E. And PID uh, underscore 04 EZ and MI underscore 00, zero. and then the, the first folder 7 and 1, and then you want to go down to device parameters. Okay, so basically we are finished right now. 
Um, so basically what we want to do here, first of all, also you should like take a backup of the registry. Uh, I think you just go ahead and export it and uh, save the whole registry to your computer and then you can just like import it again. Okay, so now uh, we can just close that out. And then we should also, I think uh, we need to like clo close Zoom software. Uh, and then I'm just going to plug in my cable again. And let's see here if we can get some action. Okay, as you can see, um, soon auto uh, opens up. But as you can see, when I go to my computer right now, I can see uh, Nokia Lumia 800, I can see two of these over here. That's awesome, that basically means that it works and you can move over files. Now, how you move over files, you know, you just open air and then you just move them over. Uh, now, how you find them on your device, that's something that you probably have to figure out yourself, but I don't think it's that hard, probably. Uh, but that's kind of cool, that's kind of great. Uh, which one you should pick, that's also a very good question. Let's see how big they are. Unknown. Okay, unknown. Uh, but at least it works to you know move them over over here so you can see them. So that's great. See you guys.